Many people associate themselves with a favorite animal. Many of them are cute and fluffy like dogs or cats. Well, the animal that I chose is the otter. a video I took a few days ago when I visited the zoo and was looking at some of those magnificent otters. But along with that, not only are they cute and fluffy, they also play a lot of important roles in the ecosystem that they reside in. They have a lot of effects on different plants and animals and especially people all over the world. Otters have been my favorite animal for a long time now. I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to brush up on some info that I've looked up in the past. So for now, let me just tell you a little bit about some otters, along with some background information, what they do and accomplish in their ecosystems, what effects they have, and why they are important, along with which species are endangered and why. So let's dive right in. To begin, there are 13 different species of otters that live all around the world, and they are all carnivorous mammals, meaning that they eat other animals. Some of what their diet consists of are clams, crabs, and urchins, but I'll get more into that later. And along with that, these otters also can range in size from anywhere between like 24 inches at the smallest to 6 feet at the largest. That is unfortunately taller than me. Along with that, some of the other things that the otters like to do is when they sleep, they like to hold ants with each other and form what is known as a raft. That is just to make sure that they don't drift apart while sleeping on the beach. In my opinion, it's extremely cute as well. <laughs> Along with that, some of the other fun activities they like to do is play with rocks and create water slides and just slide up and down them just to have fun. And speaking of fun activities, let's talk about what they do for the ecosystems that they reside in, since being environmentally friendly is always a fun idea. As I mentioned earlier, some of what the otter's diet consists of is clams, urchins, and other marine wildlife. By consuming these creatures, along with other crustaceans, otters keep the overall population of these creatures in check. An example of the otters helping with the environment is through the protection of kelp forests. In Sharon Omandi's 2019 article titled, What is the Role of Sea Otters in the Ecosystem? She brought up facts surrounding sea otters and how they maintain the population of sea urchins, which they usually take a toll on the kelp forests. Through the otters' maintenance on the sea urchin population, kelp forests can continue to thrive which leads to a better coastal environment in places like British Columbia and California. As we now see how important the otter species is, we need to make sure that they are protected since many of them are endangered species. Out of the 13 different species of otters, four of them are listed as endangered. And as we've seen by the reasons that I stated earlier, all of these species need to make sure that they are protected. Many disasters such as oil spills, climate change, and other naturally occurring events such as the 2014 El Nino have led to a lot of habitat destruction for sea otters in particular. Destruction of kelp forests from these events have led to less natural protection for these sea otters and allowed them to be preyed on more by their natural predators such as sharks. These are all just some of the reasons why we need to make sure that the otter species is protected. We've seen they play a large role in environments all around the world, and honestly, we can't really live without them. One day, I hope to go out and help some of the organizations that have taken great part in protecting some of these otters, and maybe even one day own one as a pet. But of course, not in New York, since it's not legal here, unfortunately. So I'd like to thank you all for listening, and if you have any other questions about otters in any sense, leave them in the comments below. Thank you, have a great day.